Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Manchuk, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. As I've mentioned before, each Sunday morning, we have message notes that accompany our messages. You can fill in the blanks while you listen to the message, or you can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for you. And then we have opportunities. Uh, during the week on Wednesday nights, we actually have a Zoom class. This week, however, we are going to meet in person, still on Zoom. You can contact me through our church office at uh, 248 381 and call our church office and uh, we can get you set up to receive that email if you want to be part of that Zoom discussion of the message prior from the prior week, especially during this time of Advent when we're really dealing with this uh, concept that Christmas is not your birthday. This week we're talking about the scandalous love of God, and such a scandalous love that uh, he uses, that, that, that we're, we're, we're tapping into the story of Hosea, a really weird love story, if you will. And I'm going to read uh, just a portion of that, uh, chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Let me, uh, let me read this to you. The Lord said to me again, go. Love a woman who has a lover and is an adulteress, just as the Lord loves the people of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for 15 shekels of silver and a homer of barley and a measure of wine. And I said to her, you must remain as mine for many days. You shall not play out the whore. You shall not, you shall not have intercourse with a man, nor I with you. For the Israelites shall remain many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterwards, the Israelites shall return to seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall come in awe to the Lord and to his goddess in the latter days. May God add a reading, a blessing to the reading and hearing of this holy word. I tried to spare our congregation. Uh, the full scripture or other scriptures from uh, the story of Hosea. It is uh, it was a challenge to try to keep the message PG, uh, PG, uh, you know, with the language that is found in Hosea. It talks about to uh, take a wife of whoredom and have children of whoredom. It was just uh, it's really a pretty intense story. Uh, so he is representing, that is, Hosea is representing the relationship between God and God's people, realizing that God's people, and that's, you know, in the context of Hosea's writing, that's the Israelites, but let's be honest, uh, we're talking about us being God's people too, because we have uh, the capability <laughs> to be unfaithful as well. And so we learn about uh this uh, story of Hosea, and he is encouraged by God. He is told by God to take a wife who is a prostitute. Because the, the symbolism is that it's the worst type of infidelity. And yet that's what God puts up with. The worst type of infidelity. For we seek other lovers, whether it be uh, consumerism or greed or, uh, or, some other, or some type of addiction. We are always turning away from our God, but God desires us, desires a relationship with us. Mike Slaughter in his book, Christmas is Not Your Birthday, writes, quote, I've got to be honest. <laughs> this is beyond the scope of human imagination. I would be kicking her to the curb. Yet this scandalous biblical account testifies to the outrageous pursuing love of God for a broken world. This is the desanitized version of the Christmas story. God loves us and wants us even while we remain under the influence of unworthy lovers such as greed, selfishness, selfishness, addiction, and deceit. Wow. You know, I mentioned in the message on Sunday uh, that we look at the Old Testament and we describe God as being vengeful and hateful and bloody and uh, the wrath of God, or, you know, and uh, boy, I don't know. This is a great story, albeit a difficult story to, to read that illustrates well how unfaithful we can be 
and how God buys us back, redeems us, forgives us, wants us back, desires us to, to come back into a relationship with him. Can you imagine uh, God loving you with that, type of, with that depth of love? Can you accept that love? What would it mean to receive love from our God who created all of us, all that is, all that will be? God loves us. God loves you and God loves me. I want you to think about that for just a moment and think about the depth of God's love that even though we are unfaithful, that we turn to other lovers, that God is always desiring to win us back. Let's, let's speak with God about this. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time together. We ask that you give to us a sense of your awesome love, your presence in our lives that we uh, should covet for ourselves, but don't. And we ask that you forgive our sins so that we can move forward in doing your will here on earth as it is in, in, in the uh, heavens. Gracious God, give us every opportunity to share with others this awesome love that you give to us. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Hey friends, have a great day and God bless you.